Ric Flair's getting divorced. What? Pretty Ricky getting divorced. Do you think we reported on the first crack in the... I think when he was going down on that woman in a train, <laughs> that was probably the end of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Just a guess. Just a guess. And did it, did it get confirmed that it was him? Well, look, you don't, you don't drop a divorce announcement out to <laughs> It was it was a while ago. It's not like right after. Yeah, no, I think uh, the I think he had to write out COVID. Broke the camel's back was his interview with me. Oh, probably. How probably. many years ago? Uh, that was about I believe 2017. Yeah, so she probably heard that now. Oh. She's just like, I get to fuck out of here, dude. I get a dip, son. Yeah, yeah. Did he reveal a lot, Dan? Oh, he revealed a lot, but off camera. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's always off camera. Oh. Always off camera. Um, yeah, they, uh, they announced, well, he announced, I guess you should say, he announced on his social media and referred to himself as Nate, which is awesome because that's his nickname for the nature boy. And I love when people talk in the third person, especially about divorce and shit like that, like that, nothing makes me happier. Right. Nothing makes Nate. me happier. Nate, dude. Nature boy. Okay. Nate. Come on, Nate. I like that short Nate. name. It's like the conch. Yeah. It's nice. But uh, R.I.P. to that marriage, and, you know, it's Ric Flair. You're not going to stop him from being Ric Flair. No. Because that, that move where he went down on that woman in the train it was a fucking power move, first of all. Sure. Where it's like, hey, what's up, stranger? Right. Never met before we're on this train. How about I go down on you on this train? Now that's, what, that's how it went in your head. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, We it, don't it, know how it actually went. Stra he just walked up to a stranger? Look, we, we saw the photo. I think we... I think we put it on the show last time we were here, right? We put the picture, yeah. Yeah, we goddamn right we did. Yeah, we ruined a marriage. Well, so. I don't think we did. It was trending all over Twitter, obviously. Yeah, You couldn't but... stop it. You couldn't stop it. But it's a, it's a bold move to walk up to somebody on a train and be like, hey, what's up? Are you Ric Flair, nature boy? 17-time world champion? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. You want me to go down on you right now? Mm -hmm. ah, ah, shit. I mean, we're on a train. I got nowhere to be. Let's go. Victimless crime, unless you're married. And then there is a victim. <laughs> right. There's a disappointed party, yeah. The, the victim but, was his yeah, marriage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, his yeah. marriage. So uh, yeah. RIP to that, and uh, we, we wish them the best. Okay? Yeah. yeah. We, we wish him the best. There was a – oh, man, because I'll go, like, deep into these wrestling holes because I still love wrestling. Okay. I just think the WWE is dog shit right now. I think The Rock's cousin, Roman Reigns, is boring, doesn't have a personality, like – you're missing that in today's WWE for me, whereas mm -hmm. AEW's got all the fucking personality in the world, and uh, they're kind of onesie twosies as far as when they're live and trending. AEW is fucking number one. It's an AEW nation we live in, in my opinion. Those those other people are fucking dog shit. Um, the Rock's cousin, goddamn, can that guy be any more fucking boring? Right. I mean, just fucking boring. Anyways. Wrestling fans are super passionate about their favorite superstars. Therefore, whenever something like this goes down, I love to read the comments because they're into it as if they know these people. And the comments underneath Ric Flair's post for his divorce were like, man, come on, Nate. And I don't know this guy's voice. This is just a guess of what I read. Like, I read his post and I was like, I fucking know that guy's voice. Yeah, you're using your imagination a lot today. I am. Yeah. And it's like, come on, Nate. You, man, she was with you, brother, from, from when you were in the hospital uh, with a heart attack till all the way now. I, th I think you're losing a good woman, Nate. You know, like that deep oh. on, a, on a post where you're like. Oh, yeah. How long were they together? Uh, somewhere in the 10 year ish range. Times. Married a bunch of times. Yeah. Okay. He's had 20 women in a night, so he says, you know, it's Nature Boy. I believe it. Sure. I believe he satisfied each and every single one of those women, too. Right. That's what you do as a 16-time world champion. Especially when you go to Space Mountain. Goddamn right. <laughs> Woo! Um, but with that, uh, all of the comments were like that. Like, these people that knew him or, man, I hate to see it, Rick, but, you know, uh, the train just keeps on going. And it, it's, you're just like, what the fuck? There was one in particular that got me. Uh, the older the roller coaster, the longer the line, you're going to be fine, Rick. You're going to be fine. And I was like, oh, shit, I want to write that down. 
That's that's an the amazing line. The older the roller coaster, the longer the, longer the line. Longer the line, and that's true. In regard, and what is that a metaphor? Anywhere in America, so the best roller coaster in the world, allegedly, is this one in. Uh, it's in Ohio. It's it's a old wooden roller coaster. Fuck, is it Cedar Point? Look up Cedar Point roller coaster. And, uh, and it's true. Like when he said that, when the, whoever this guy is, and I'm, a, I'm imagining they're all Southern, you know, my NH, the older the roller coaster. But he was obviously talking line. about a, I mean, you know, a metaphor for like a lady, right? No, for himself. For himself. Yeah, yeah. There's still, there's going to be a long so, line so, of women waiting to get on that roller coaster of Ric Flair, you know? Okay, that's true. That's true. Because it isn't the same for girls. No, no. The no. older the roller coaster. Real short line. Sure. Short line. In sure. That one. You've got to really, you got to, <laughs> you got to ask people to get. Yeah. Hey, come try. It's like the woman, that the old lady coaster. on Ozark. Yeah. You're going to have to get huge fake tits in order to compensate for how old that woman is, you know, where you're just like, oh man. No, I'm just saying as far as society is. There we go. What's the, what's the name of that roller coaster, Bob? Put that on screen. Blue Streak. God it was damn. built in the 60s. Yeah, look at that fucking thing. And people love this shit love or it. what? Because it's, it's supposed to, it's allegedly the fastest roller coaster there is, too. There's no way that's true. There's, look it up. Yeah. Look maybe it up. Look like, up fastest roller coaster in the United actually, States. Wooden roller coaster, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, there's a shit ton more faster, especially like Universal. Like uh, the I don't know Velocicopter. Yeah, what's the one where you fly like a the Batman uh, Avatar one? I've been on the Batman one. Oh, the Avatar ride is not a roller coaster. Mm-mm. No roller coaster, brother. No? Is that the is that the VR? <laughs> it's one? in your it's mind, for, dude. It's just like a virtual reality, like Star Wars. Every one. morning we wonder. And, and Georgia was like, "We're going so fast." <laughs> Every morning we wonder how high he's going to be, and the question. Gets answered pretty Giorgio, quickly. Giorgio, you don't move at all. You're literally just in like a yeah. shaking room. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. But that one is fun though. My mom hit me up for my birthday the other day and she goes, how much dope is your producer on? Dope. And she said dope. And I was oh. like, I go, I don't know, mom. I, I, I never know that answer. Right. And I go, either way, it's a, it's a fun mystery every day and I enjoy it. Conversely, my mom never asks because she's on the same amount. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's a way that people ask where you can tell. Has your mom gotten on the patches yet? No. Oh, they're nice. I'm sure she sells them. A little THC patch in the morning, throw that in the inner thigh, get you a smooth little ride in. People are saying the she raptor. She has them at her store probably. The ones I've got here are, is, this isn't even the fastest one in Ohio, so... Uh, yeah. The one uh, King Daka in New Jersey uh, goes 128 miles an hour. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, top Thrill Dragster in Ohio. And I assume anything in Ohio is at Cedar Point. Yeah. Um, ah, there's a Six Flags there, too. Okay. Well, that's 120 miles an hour. Uh, where the fuck is the other? Oh, Superman Escape from Krypton. I've been on that. Mm-hmm. 100 miles an hour. Yeah. It felt fast. Is this updated? Because uh, the Velocicoaster in Universal is... Probably the most intense roller coaster I've ever been on in my life. And I felt like it was going to Rob die. would pull up a graph from like 10 years ago. It's fine. Wow. Velocicoaster is only 70. Only 70? 70. Wow. Look only at you, 70. Dude. You yeah. weak ass fucking roller co- coaster motherfucker. Like, take was, your 70 and go home. It was pretty lightweight. intense. No. I was going faster than that on the way to the studio today. Yes, you were in that Raptor. Fuck yeah, dude. Your Raptor went faster than his Raptor coaster. Do you know how fast those goddamn things are, by the way? So fast. Jesus Christ. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm wrecked. Congratulations to Ford. Never had one, but uh, we only keep these goddamn things for a year, anyways. But uh, yeah, it's not a bad car. Um, but Jabe's Nature Boy is going to have a long line. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, and I, I believe that. And if you want a real I think good for time, some, I don't know why I was thinking it was for ladies. And if you want a real good time, yeah, like go through the comments on on posts like that for wrestlers. They, everybody knows these fucking people, dude. It's great. And I, like, I, I don't shit on it. I go along with it. I'm like, yeah, man. Right. You're right, brother. 